former NBA player turned business mogul. Ulysses Jr. Bridgman has become one of the wealthiest former NBA players in history, but his success didn't come from being an all-star player or through a lucrative contract. Instead, it was due to his successful business ventures. Bridgman's business sense and entrepreneurial spirit led him to start over a dozen businesses after his playing career ended and are the keys to his incredible success. Bridgman is the current owner of Ebony and Jet magazines, and despite being an average NBA player in the 70s and 80s, never making more than $350,000 a season during his career, Bridgman has amassed a net worth of over $600 million, making him one of the wealthiest former athletes in the world. Hi, allow me to welcome you to another video of Finance Sense. We cover all the latest trends in the financial markets and the economy. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep posted. Junior Bridgman was born in East Chicago, Indiana in 1953. His father was a steel mill worker, while his mother was a housewife. Junior's early dedication to sports and hard work paid off when he emerged as a high school athletic superstar. However, he didn't ignore his schoolwork, maintaining an excellent GPA despite becoming a basketball all-star at East Washington High School. He loved basketball, but was aware that his chances of becoming a professional player were slim. As a result, he made sure to give his academics his full attention in order to have a backup. He entered his senior year truly prepared to concentrate on his studies at a university. Yet, he had an outstanding athletic season. He rose to prominence on his team in 1971, which went unbeaten throughout the season and won the state title that year. As a result, he was noticed by several universities before choosing the University of Louisville as a place to advance his academic and athletic goals. He maintained his exceptional athletic ability while in college, winning Player of the Year awards in the Missouri Valley Conference in 1974 and 1975. He didn't neglect his academics even though he excelled at playing basketball and was making good progress toward a degree in psychology during his playing career. In addition to his own accomplishments on and off the court, his team had a tremendous season in 1975, reaching the NCAA Championship Final Four. He was a valuable asset coming into the 1975 NBA draft since he was one of the best players on a Final Four team. He almost didn't play, considering instead using his psychology degree to enroll in law school because the NBA wasn't yet as lucrative as it is now. But his passion for the sport was too great, and he ultimately decided to enter the draft, where the Los Angeles Lakers chose him 8th overall in the 1975 draft. In 1987, when his NBA career ended, he bought several Wendy's restaurants in the Milwaukee area and saw that they all began doing well. When Wendy's first opened, the typical franchise made $800,000 per year or almost $2 million in today's value. Despite the steady flow of money from Wendy's franchises he owned, he wasn't ready to call it quits on his business pursuits. As time passed, he reinvested his profits in more franchises, increasing his income steadily. He rapidly became the second largest owner of Wendy's restaurants in the entire country and was earning insane amounts of revenue. The successful entrepreneur, however, was still not satisfied. After nearly dominating Wendy's franchise industry, he wanted to branch out and began to purchase several more franchises. To diversify his income sources and significantly boost his net worth, Junior bought numerous Chili's restaurants. He wasn't satisfied with only the family restaurant, so he started adding Fannie Mae chocolate business as well. His company Bridgeman Foods LLC eventually took over the management of all of these. At this stage in his career, he was pulling in several million dollars annually, but he concluded that he could maintain a lavish way of life while still funneling a significant portion of his income back into his companies. Junior Bridgman went from being the Milwaukee Bucks' sixth man for almost 10 years to owning a Wendy's franchise empire worth hundreds of millions of dollars, an astounding leap of success. He transformed a 350k annual income into half a billion dollars. This is an absurdly high growth rate, yet he was still unsatisfied. In December 2020, he decided to purchase Jet and Ebony magazine when they filed for bankruptcy. 
increasing his overall net worth to over $600 million. Even with $600 million, Junior Bridgman still has a long way to go in his business endeavors. In 2017, he expanded his line of business by adding Coca-Cola bottling to his portfolio. This is already a huge market with lots of revenue potential, but in 2018, he boosted it by partnering with more businesses in the bottling sector. He had committed to expanding his Coke bottling company into Canada during that year by signing a letter of intent. At this time, he operated over 263 Wendy's, 123 Chili's, and more franchisees totaling 450 establishments throughout 20 states. Even though he was well on his way to becoming a billionaire, he decided to diversify into new areas. Around May 2022, he announced that he would be growing his business once more. This time, he would be expanding into an aluminum mill in New Mexico. According to the terms of the agreement, he will work in collaboration with the Ball Corporation to run a secondary aluminum mill in Las Lunas, New Mexico. With yearly sales of $1.29 billion, the Ball Corporation is a massive company in and of itself. He is already reaping millions in profits from his huge businesses, and this partnership is expected to increase that number by a factor of 10 or more. Yet, his brilliance does not stop there. He did, in fact, negotiate another business agreement in late 2022 that will give his portfolio access to another incredibly profitable business. In October 2022, he expanded his portfolio by including another bottling factory when news broke that a venture capital firm he co-founded would be establishing a bottling plant in Hope Hall, Alabama. Junior is a master strategist, spreading his wealth over several regions, sectors, and businesses. During his NBA career, he did not waste his time thinking about purchasing goods that had lost value, such as jewelry or cars. Instead of letting his athletic skill get in the way of his financial success, he kept his head down, kept his fast food job during the off-season, and invested heavily in income-generating assets, which produced positive cash flow. However, by employing this very simple strategy, he has a massive fortune on par with the NBA's most prominent star players. This demonstrates that the greatest ways to generate money aren't always the flashiest ones, but rather the ones that involve looking around and identifying a need you can satisfy. It takes a man with a lot of humility to work as a fry cook during the NBA offseason, have a dream that a few people could understand. As he now has a net worth of $600 million, it's clear that he was correct all along. His success proves that if you work hard and don't waste your time trying to win over people who don't matter, you can amass a fortune that will last for generations. Ulysses Jr. Bridgman had put himself on the route to being a serious billionaire before the typical retirement age, which he accomplished even though he was not able to take home tens of millions of dollars in endorsement agreements because he was a star player. When you consider that he started off making less money than the typical doctor and now has a net worth of over half a billion dollars, you can see how incredible his development and net worth are. Hi, it looks like you've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching this far. Please subscribe and give a like if you enjoyed it and comment your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Finance Sense, helping you keep up with all the latest trends in the financial markets and the economy. See you around.